guys, this is Dalton Smith and we're doing another how-to video with slide hand boards. And today we're going to be talking about your fins and more particularly your fin leashes, talking about how to put them on, make sure you don't lose your fins. And then we're going to go over the technique of kicking and paddling so you can kind of get an idea of what you need to be doing when it's time to catch a wave. So I got my boy Sam Duggan out here helping me again. We're going to jump into the pool right here in Indy Atlantic Beach and we're going to show you some clear water. Florida is not exactly renowned for clear water when it comes to surfing, so we're going to put you guys in the pool, show you exactly what it looks like when we're diving under the wave, show you what it looks like when we're kicking, and all the different techniques to make sure that you're getting as much time in the water as you can. So, you guys are ready, we got our fins, we got our leashes, we got the wedge by slide hand boards, we're going to jump in the pool. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and have Sam show you the improper way to walk. You can see he's got the wide duck stance, and if you trip one time, it's over. So the proper way to walk with your fins on is to slide backwards and drag your feet across the ground. This is going to ensure that you're not going to trip and fall and hurt yourself or anyone around you. So Duckman here just showed you the proper way to walk with your fins. It sounds silly, but it's really important. You will fall if you walk forward. You're going to trip and go down. So next thing we're going to do is get into the water and show you guys some proper swimming, some proper kicking, and some proper diving techniques. Because when you're in the water, you need to duck dive under the waves to get out. So if you guys are ready, we're going to get in the water and get it started. All right, so we got Sam walking backwards, anchors on, fins on, he's ready to go. It is really shallow in here, only about two feet, so we're going to take our time getting in the water. We're going to be careful and make sure no one's going to get out. Never mind. <laughs> so now that Sam's in the water, I'm going to get in and we're going to go over some basic kicking techniques, jump into more complicated stuff like duck diving, but by the end of this video, you guys will be ready to get in the water and catch some waves. So I guess uh, I'm going to have to follow Sam. All right guys, so we're in the pool and now Sam is going to show you the proper kicking technique. It's pretty simple. You're going to just do like a regular swim in the pool, up and down, but your feet are going to be a little bit more loose. You want to have this fluid movement like this, so your feet are naturally kind of going like a wave almost, and you're just going to go back and forth, left and right. And we have the GoPro, so we're going to get in the water and show you guys exactly what it looks like underwater. Okay guys, so Sam just kicked without paddling so you guys can really focus on the kick. Next we're going to have him paddle because that's you know equally important to catch the wave. We're both right handed. I put the board on my left hand, Sam puts it on his right hand and that's totally preference. So for me, my right arm is my stronger paddle arm so that's why I put it on the left. Sam likes to have it on his right arm because that's a stronger you know, body surfing arm. So try both and see what works for you. On this next one, pay attention. We're going to have him kick, but we're going to focus on that stroke. He's going to paddle really hard, kick really hard, and we'll show you guys some footage. There's that moment where the wave picks you up, where you have literally caught the wave and you are moving forward. So you need to kick and paddle as hard as you can until you feel that moment. Bottom line is you need to stroke hard and make sure that you're following through. Some people will like hit the water and halfway pull and then just think about the next stroke. When you hit the water, pull all the way through. Pull all the way through and kick at the same time. And once you catch the wave, don't stop kicking. Some people catch the wave and they give up on the kicking. You'll hit flat spots, you'll hit parts where the wave kind of dies out. If you keep kicking, you'll make it. You'll keep going through. Now that we've talked about kicking with your fins on along with paddling to get into the waves, we're going to talk about going underneath of the waves or duck diving on your way out into the lineup. When you're making your way from the beach to where the waves are breaking, you're going to have to go through a lot of white water or breaking waves. This is just going to slow you down and make you tired, so the best thing to do is a duck dive. You're simply going to hold your breath, dive to the bottom, and swim towards the rear of the wave. When you come up, the wave will have passed and you're going to be able to go through all of that energy without being slowed down and moved back towards the beach. I think that's a wrap for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check back. We've got a lot of new videos with slide handboards. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.